Hey guys, how's everything going? This is Jacer. Uh, in one of my previous videos, uh, I've covered the Tree Walker API. Um, in case you have forgot it, you can search on my channel for that. It's allow us to walk through uh, the DOM tree easily with this native API, so it's very performant. Um, so actually, there's another thing, an API called Node Iterator. Uh, some of my uh, YouTube uh, friends just to comment on my video saying, hey, what about Node Iterator? So let's take a look at Node Iterator today. The syntax will be similar to TreeWalker, uh, doc, document, create Node Iterator, root, what to show filter. It's actually totally the same as, uh, as, as uh, the create, uh, wait a minute, create TreeWalker, yeah root, what to show, filter, and uh, true worker has this extra expandency references, a boolean flag indicating if when discarding an entity, oh, it's already deprecated, so we should ignore it. So the interface will be the same actually, and what to show is a node, no, node filter, so it's the same. So yeah, we will come back to the difference later. But now let's just to give it a try about uh, this node iterator. Okay, let's uh, reload it. Okay, same as before. Let, let's just uh, do the node iterator on this uh, on this element. Okay, const const node iterator document create node iterator. I have it already run before, so I have this history. So yeah, this is just uh, iterate through all the nodes about these uh, elements. Yep, and uh, and then let's log it. Okay, I'll switch to here. Yep, and then and I let next while next equals and I. Next node. This is totally the same as Tree Walker. Let's uh, log it. You can see that the first is the diff. Uh huh. Obviously, the next one is the p tag. Next one is the a text element, uh, text node inside this p tag, and then code, code inside node editor. So is this DFS? Uh, it's the same as we, what we done in the uh, uh, tree worker. Uh, of course, we could change it to like uh, let's reload it. Change it to not show all, but uh, show. Uh, let's filter all the comments. Is there comments? Maybe not. So let's show. Only elements show text. Okay, that's just to show text. You can see now we can just get all the text. Yeah, a no reader blah blah blah. Here's our text. What is this text? Is this mm, what's this? Method as follows. Okay. Const. So there are some. Mm, oh, there are some empty one. Yeah, you can see, this is some empty uh, new line for the document. Okay. So one thing, the different. What the, is the difference between these two APIs? Well, if you take a look at the document, we can see that actually. The tree worker has a uh, other than the next node here, which is the same. It has previous node and next sibling, previous sibling, last child, first child, which is not existing uh, on the node iterator API. For node iterator API, there's only previous node and next node. So you can think that this is only the node iterator is the basic DFS. There is no like uh, going to other branches well tree worker literally it will allows you to walk the tree and whatever you want you can go back of course node reader allows you to go back but it also allows you to go to the sibling go to the children 
stuff like that, right? So let's just do something uh, a slightly different here. Um, for this element. Okay, so for this element, when we when we go to the pre tag, so we stop looking to the details about this, uh, the the children of this pre tag. We just jump straight to the button. So how will, would we achieve that? Which means ignore the things inside pre. So if we use the tree work API, it's simple. We just walk as the FS go to P tag anything, and once we go to this pre tag, we just go to the pre tag sibling. Usually, for most of the cases, uh, for DFS, you go to pre-tag and then you go to the children of this uh, uh, a pre-tag, right? Unless there's nothing in there, it won't go to the sibling. But we can just go to the sibling with the tree work API's uh, next sibling. Let's do it. Our first step is to create a tree worker. Document create tree worker. And then we would... Uh, yeah, you reach through the uh, tree and uh, it will be the same actually. Let next while well, next equals uh, T1, TW, uh, next node. And then, um, yeah, we lock the node. But rather than we lock, besides locking, we check if next is pre tag. If it is, we go to the next one. TW next sibling. Next sibling, not the next node. Right? Yep. Let's do it. You can see that we now we get the p tag a div p tag yeah and go to the inside the p tag and go 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 and then we go to the pre right but the next one of pre node of after pre we go to the copy of hmm? copy of clipboard just to show a button uh-huh yeah it, it doesn't go to in, inside the code right it, it, there's no code element to be derated so, okay, there's something different than I want wanted to achieve. Actually, the button is skipped because we go to the next sibling. Now, the tree worker is this button, but in this while loop, it will call the next node. So next actually will be uh, the copy of clipboard. But uh, we need to actually need to change this code a little bit to achieve our goal. Uh, but this demonstrates the, uh, the abilities about uh, uh, the tree walker it's actually have you uh, gives us a, a walker and uh, allows us to go any directions but for for node iterator there's only back and forth and tree walker left and right and uh, yeah it's list here parent first child last child this is this is back and forth right oh no this is not back and forth this is only child the next node might be first child or it might be next sibling, uh, the sibling of parent. So yeah, it's it has more uh, directions for us to run to walk, and uh, so when should I use it? When should I use the node iterator and tree walker? Well, um, you can use the only tree walker because I think it covers the node iterator. But if it's simple, it's very simple. You just want to uh, to 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 check the nodes without going to branches stuff you can use node iterator if you want to be more powerful than tree worker so generally tree worker so that's my advice i uh, hope it work uh, hope it helps and i'll see you next time bye bye